Yeah, coaching uh, uh, back in those days was a little bit different too. Uh, the coaches, uh, they try to get around and see you maybe one or two times during recruiting, and that's about it. You didn't get phone calls all during the night because we didn't have a tel uh, telephone in our house. Uh, we didn't have a TV either. So it was, uh, you know, it was a little bit different than it is today. But um, I had a principal at the school that I went to that was a huge Ole Miss fan. He went to Mississippi College, never set foot on Ole Miss uh, campus, uh, but he loved Ole Miss. And when anyone would come down, which there was just a couple of schools like State and LSU, LSU had, had a big connection with them. Uh, I got through a guy in Vicksburg, but uh, he would, um, Coach Paul would come down and see me. And Coach Sullivan, I mean, Mr. Sullivan, the principal of the school, he would get me out of class and he'd let me go off to Coach Paul and do whatever he wanted to do. When LSU came, he would uh, say, Well, um, I'm sorry, we're in some class. And he can't get out of class now. And, and so uh, he, would, he would bring me up to, to the oldest football games. And that's the only way I got up here. I mean, the coaches didn't send me up or I had to make arrangements to get me up here. Mr. Sullivan, he would put me in his car and we would drive up here to the ball game and drive back home at night. So, you know, it, it wasn't quite, quite like it is now with the, the kids being able to come on official visits and all that. And like my senior year, I mean my uh, freshman year, I think we had almost 70 kids come in here and report in as freshmen that year. So uh, Coach Paul gave a scholarship to any and everybody to keep us in state from getting in back. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, a, it was a really a recruiting <laughs> challenge back in those days. Uh, one thing that was interesting was I did go to LSU one weekend and you know, coaches can really make some big mess ups uh, uh, in the recruiting process. I went down to LSU and it just happened that Lance Allward from Brookhaven and Ralph Smith from Brookhaven, uh, Chuck Morris from Gulf Coast and Gulfport, they were all down. We were all in Baton Rouge together that night. And uh, they were playing Georgia Tech. And just before the ball game, Paul Diesel was the head coach down there. And Coach Diesel came in and he, uh, he wanted to speak to everybody, and they must they had a huge room full of recruits there. And he walked in, and Coach Diesel said, uh, guys, he said, uh, we're fixing to put LSU on the map. Because LSU hadn't really been uh, great at that point. Uh, they were just beginning to come in and have some really good ball clubs. And so he, he said, we're really fixing to put LSU on the map, and we're going to do it for those damn players. <laughs> Lance and, and Ralph and Chuck, good. Must not want us. 